In 1861, the Confederate States fired on Fort Sumter in South Carolina, and the Civil War began. That's Fort Sumter in the wall mural on the left. So how did New Yorkers feel about the war and about President Lincoln? Look through one of these stereographs to find out. You'll see a photo of a huge rally in Union Square in April 1861 with more than 200,000 people. At first, most New Yorkers enthusiastically supported Lincoln and the war. Within a month, the city raised over $3 million for troops and supplies, and 3,000 men volunteered to fight. Look through the opening in this wall at the large oil painting by Thomas Nast. It shows the 7th Regiment of New Yorkers marching down Broadway on their way to protect Washington, D.C. The big tattered flag on the left in the painting had flown over Fort Sumter. By the way, the artist put himself in the painting. He's the bearded man at the right, waving his hat. As you walk around this wall towards the painting, you'll pass a coat with a bullet hole in it. It belonged to the first Union officer killed in the Civil War. His name was Colonel Elmer Ephraim Ellsworth, and he was a New Yorker. He tried to haul down a southern flag, and Confederates shot him. New Yorkers had hoped for a short war. But as the war dragged on for more than a year, people grew pessimistic and began to question Lincoln's leadership. You'll hear more about that questioning at your next stop. Once you pass through the doorway, go towards the bar on your right.